Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel, Cooking with Joe Black. If this is your first time on my channel, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, I just want to say thank you for the continued support. And thank you for the love. Today, I'll be making a sorrel glazed chicken tender. Yeah, you don't know, we are doing better than KFC. You heard right, sorrel glazed chicken tender. Alright, so don't go nowhere, the video will come up shortly. Maple I represent, yeah, the same one. Money we are pre for the hearer. Money me a pre to your sharer. Money, money, money for the hearer. Money me a pre, come in a pre, man. Me a take it to the street down when I'm me one. Money in a hand like me a doctor. Anything me want me, when I walk for. Welcome back guys, as I said earlier in the introduction, I said we're going to be making some chicken tenders and um, yeah, so I went ahead beforehand and sliced my chicken breasts, alright, clean them, wash them, so I slice them in strips like that, so now we're going to season them, I'm going to use some green seasoning, some garlic paste, and now we're going to season this, and I'm just going to throw some seasoning until my ancestors tell me to stop. And that looks good. I say it's a quick and fast thing. You just mix this around and ensure so they get it incorporated. Right. Everything. So ideally you want to leave this to marinate overnight. Right? If you don't have the time. You can just leave it to marinate for about an hour and then you'll be good. That being said, I'm just going to top this in the fridge and I'm going to take out a batch that I seasoned two days ago. So it's been in the fridge marinating for 48 hours. So it's all properly seasoned, right? Here's a, here's a one that I had seasoned for 48 hours. And you can see it's thoroughly seasoned, right? right through so here we have um our buttermilk and i'm gonna season this i'm gonna a tablespoon of chicken spice paprika i'm going a tablespoon of mixed season well and just a teaspoon of vinegar I'm just gonna mix this around, right? And if you not change color, you want more. So that's our buttermilk. And here we have our flour, right? And for the flour, we're gonna add the same seasoning, right? You wanna ensure so you season your flour real good. Alright guys, so now we have all of the, we have the chicken, the egg mix, we have our buttermilk and we have our flour, right? And now we'll, we're going to coat the chicken then. And we'll just put a portion in of the, um, the buttermilk and egg wash flour.
Now you want to squeeze your chicken, right? Just squeeze it. Squeeze it tight, but don't strangle it. And where do you get a nice crust when you're ready? So, guys, as you can see, this is our chicken tenders all coated in the butter. And I put them on a wire wrap, just leave them out in the open here so they can get about five minutes, right? By doing this, right. The butter doesn't fall off when you put it in the pot and they come out a lot crispier right so just gonna leave this a while and then i dump them in the pot so don't worry yourself soon come all right so guys <clears throat> all right so time now to drop them in our pot all right and we're gonna allow them to fry for about five minutes they're about The sauce now, so a uh, tablespoon of butter. Alright, so I got some sugar, some brown sugar. So half of our brown sugar we had, right? I just want to mix it for my butter. Brown and melt. Right. And this is we're making our um, sorrel sauce. Alright. This we have a cup of sorrel, alright? This sorrel is freshly made. Alright. You know, it's also my desire petals in it. Let's drop it in. To this, I'm gonna add some chopped seasoning. That's some um, onion, scallion, and garlic. And this is just to give the sauce a nice flavor, right? A nice little aroma I got a little bit of ketchup and that will just help the thickening sauce to this we're gonna add some seasoning and that's my mixed seasoning give this about five minutes all right All right, now that we have that much reduction, we can see the sauce get really thick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the secret ingredients to your sauce, all right? Them two ingredients here yeah, give your sauce yeah, a massive kick, all right? First, I'm gonna add half a lime. Not lemon, lime, all right? That's it, this, this is gonna give it a super kick. And then we have Nora Dan, Ray and his nephew. Alright? And we're gonna give it ooh, and 
that's me just pouring until my ancestors, my ancestors say stop. And I eat that. Look, sauce, nice and thick. So we do two more minutes, and after that, we leave it to cool for five minutes, and then we glaze with tenders. guys look at this oh my god this looks so beautiful this is our finished product this is our sorrel glazed chicken tenders all right chicken tenders with a difference chicken tenders that you've never seen before right yeah chicken tenders with a bang right you can't go a case you'll get nothing nice sale i swear I swear you will never go KFC or Burger King and get no chicken tender as lovely as juicy as this one so that is our sorrel glazed chicken tender coming right at you if you have watched this video to the end I just want to say thank you for watching this video thanks for the love thanks for the support and Joe Black is back trying to be consistent again. So just click that like button, click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Share with your friends and family. Help me stay motivated in order to give you new videos. Once again, I would like to thank everybody for watching this video. Have a good evening. Peace. I'm out.